1. Essential Food to Fight Prostate Cancer Some foods fight prostate cancer, and in this video, I will tell you about a delicious, healthy food that contains one of the most effective substances that naturally fights prostate cancer. We will see how it works, how much you need to eat every day based on scientific evidence, what foods contain it, and how to prepare them to get the most out of them. Additionally, I'll share how to incorporate it into your diet for maximum benefits. If you have prostate cancer, this is a very important video for you to watch. Hello, everybody. I wanted to start making some nutrition videos, and today's spotlight is on tomatoes. They contain lycopene, which is a very potent antioxidant and very effective at promoting the death of cancer cells and putting a stop to prostate cancer progression. It is a safe, natural, and effective ally in your battle against prostate cancer. What other foods contain it, and how much do you need to eat daily? Keep watching. First, let's learn how lycopene works by going over the seven mechanisms. Number 1, it is a potent antioxidant. In simple terms, it fights off harmful molecules known as free radicals. It's like your body's shield against cell damage, which can lead to cancer. If you already have cancer, it reduces the risk of the cancer mutating and progressing. Number 2, lycopene, can interfere with cell cycles, essentially putting a stop sign on prostate cancer progression. It can induce cell cycle rest in prostate cancer cells, which is like going to them and telling them, hold up, you're not multiplying today. Number 3, lycopene can induce apoptosis, which is a fancy way of saying that it helps prostate cancer cells self-destruct. This is particularly important for controlling the size and spread of tumors. This is like a natural chemotherapy against prostate cancer cells without affecting your healthy cells but giving you health benefits on top of it. Number 4, lycopene, can affect hormonal balance, especially with hormones linked to prostate cancer like testosterone. It influences the cell pathways on top of prostate cancer cells to reduce their growth. Number 5, lycopene, has anti-inflammatory properties. It reduces the chronic low-grade inflammation in the body, reducing the risk of the cancer taking root and spreading. Think of it like calming a storm in your body. Number 6, lycopene, can inhibit angiogenesis or new blood vessel formation in the tumor, essentially putting a halt on their nutrient and oxygen supply. Think of it like putting a blockade on the enemy's supply lines. And number 7, lycopene, can interfere with something called insulin-like growth factor, or IGF. High levels of IGF have been linked to prostate cancer risk and progression, so lycopene, by interfering with and reducing IGF, acts like a signal jammer, reducing the risk of prostate cancer progressing. How do you cook tomatoes to get the most lycopene out of them? Well, before that, if you click the like button, it's going to help spread it to those who might need it and raise awareness. If you want to share your opinion or experience with other men like you watching this video, you can leave a comment. Do you know how when you cook vegetables, you actually reduce nutrients like vitamin C? Well, actually, when you cook tomatoes, you increase the ability of lycopene to be absorbed by your body. Funny enough, tomato sauce has four times more bioavailable lycopene than fresh tomatoes. Other tomato products, like sauce, paste, juice, or soup, have more bioavailable lycopene that you can absorb compared to raw tomatoes. I would say to avoid ketchup because it contains a lot of sugar. Okay, so prefer products like sauce, paste, juice, soup, or data that have no sugars or any other additives or maybe vegetable oils added to them, and they're made by real cooked tomatoes. Also, lycopene absorption is increased by your body in the presence of fat. Of course, we want to avoid vegetable oils, so we prefer extra virgin olive oil, which itself has a lot of polyphenols and antioxidants, which also fight cancer. Now I'm sure you have a whole bunch of questions. First of all, is it safe to eat in high dosages? What other foods contain lycopene so you can add them to your diet, and how much do you need to eat every day to fight prostate cancer? Keep watching. I quickly wanted to remind you that on my website, in the description of the video, I have guides, exercise programs, and nutrition coaching designed for men like you to take control of their health and fight the symptoms of prostate cancer and the side effects of the treatments. Studies have shown that lycopene is really safe. No side effects have been reported in either humans or animals, and I do have those studies in the description if you want to take a look. Now, the average daily intake is 0.5 to 5 mg per day, but even with doses greater than 20 or 30 per day, there are no side effects. Actually, there are health benefits. How many tomatoes have 20 mg of lycopene? How much should you eat? Also, if red tomatoes irritate your bladder, 
What other foods can you eat to get the lycopene that you need every day? Some other foods that contain lycopene are red carrots, watermelon, grapefruit, and papaya, among others. I'm going to put a table to this side of this video so you can see how much lycopene they contain per serving and how they compare to tomatoes, especially cooked tomatoes. The question is, how much do you need to eat every day to fight prostate cancer? I have quite a few studies in the description of the video if you want to take a look at them yourself, but let me tell you how much lycopene you need to be eating every single day to fight prostate cancer based on what the science says. To begin with, I have to say that studies have varied wildly in the recommendations, with some saying that as little as 6.5 mg a day is enough to get the prostate cancer fighting benefits, while others go as high as 30 mg a day. In one study, higher lycopene consumption was associated with a reduced risk of getting prostate cancer, with a threshold between 9 and 21 mg a day. But we actually have a clinical trial on men who already had prostate cancer, and they received lycopene. All the men in the study had orchidectomy, which is essentially androgen deprivation therapy, known as hormone therapy. So all the men had orchidectomy, however, only one group also received lycopene. How much did they receive? Only 4 mg a day. Only that group, compared to the group that didn't have lycopene, had significantly higher survival and a complete clinical response, which means that their PSA levels and bone scans returned to normal. Just 4 mg a day. What I would recommend, however, is going higher with lycopene consumption per day. I would say to have between 20 and 30 mg a day because we know it's safe. There are no side effects, only benefits to your health. How much is 20 to 30 mg a day? That's based on the table I had before. That's about 4 to 6 servings of raw tomatoes, or just half a cup of tomato paste. So you can get a tremendous prostate cancer fighting effect and many benefits to your health with just half a serving of tomato paste a day. So to recap, lycopene is like nature's chemotherapy against prostate cancer. It induces apoptosis in prostate cancer cells, which is like saying it helps them self-destruct. Also, it reduces oxidative stress, inflammation, and cardiovascular issues, all of which are issues in prostate cancer and treatments like hormones or chemotherapy. So, gentlemen, eat your tomatoes, keep strong, keep fighting, and I'll see you in the next video.